Welcome one and all to this 18th episode of D&D Season 3 with me, Mike. And me, Zoe. And today we are going to be taking a look at this character who's not moving. Now, I've looked into why the character is not moving. And that is because the way I have structured the, uh, the thing, the, is the, the character is not right. So, we need to open the player... And then inside the player has an armature and then a control and then a model. So the model needs to be outside. And we need another empty of some sort. Let's call this one Avatar with a capital A. Avatar. Yeah, that's Avatar. Yeah. Avatar. Okay, let's drag the Avatar up here. Let's feed the mo armature and the model. The model needs to be outside the armature. Now the model has an animator. Let's copy this component and then let's remove this component and paste this component here. Now, armature negative 0.5. I don't know, I think that's gonna get controlled by that anyway. The model also shouldn't matter. So we need to move the entire avatar down 0.5. And this may work, so let's see. So the avatar, player, character's avatar, armature, model, this may work. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, that's funny. I researched it last time right away and then I kind of forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's see. Um, and then we've got the animation here. Walk. Sure. All right. Let's quickly let's see if it works. See. There you go. Our little character is walking. But he's also riding on the spot, which is something we'll have to fix. That's right. <clears throat> There's more as well. Like You see the way the shadow works? The shadow is not great because it doesn't deal very well with voxels. So we're probably going to have to create some kind of like basic shapes to put inside our character that are only going to cast shadows. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, we can probably start with that soon. I don't know. So one thing that I also am worried about is you see he always walks forward even when you run backwards. Now, <laughs> it's not really a big deal, I guess. Um, but if we want it to be really, really cool, one thing we would need to do is essentially separate the legs and uh, in, in the torso from the head sort of thing. But uh, I don't know. I mean, this is kind of good. I don't know. We could make it so that the... Yeah, we should basically separate parts of the body uh, to make it work so that the character doesn't always sort of run this way. But step number one will be, as you correctly pointed out, let's blend between a walk animation and, and, an, and idle. an idle animation. Or vice versa, I should say. So let's begin <clears throat> by going to our character. Now, there's another thing as well. I'm not happy uh, with having one file with armatures and other characters in. So the first thing we should do, in my opinion, is save this as another file. So let's save as and call this one player. Hit enter again. Okay, well I'll do it. Okay, now we got the player. <clears throat> now remove the cone and remove the bomb and remove this other cone. And keep only the player. Yes. So let's quickly uh, go to object mode, move the player to the first layer, and move the armature to the second. So now we've got these two layers. Okay, give this a save. Whoa. Or press S. Your draw button kind of got stuck. So. All right, so now let's wait a bit. This will load. Now all of this will need to be redone, obviously, because this particular file doesn't have all of the import uh, rules that the other one does. All right, now let's open characters real quick. And we're going to delete... The player from it. The player. We're going to delete the armature. And we can leave the rest. Um, one thing we also need to do is we need to go to a player walk animation. And on effort? Uh, yes, well, it's not going to work without having the armature. We can select it. So this, and then you also need to hold shift and click. Now this should have a zero. Good. Now we can delete the armature. Okay, the rest is fine. So give this a save. And we can also 
Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, these bombs kind of should probably animate too. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Okay, so now let's see. We should get a few errors, like stuff is missing, where are the clips, what's going on. So, first of all, this needs to be a blend tree. So we're going to create a blend tree in here. It needs to have a blend. Here, call it movement speed. Oops. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now this one, walk. Uh, sure, let's uh, just call it cycle. Capital cycle. Yeah, and enter. Uh, idle to walk. I don't know if it's great. Um, now inside it, there's a blend tree, which we will rename to uh, idle to walk. Idle walk. Walk. Yeah, hit enter. It depends on movement speed. It needs two motions. Now we'll deal with the motion shortly. First we're going to go to the player here and look at him. He's so happy. <laughs> okay, so um, animations. Default take we can remove. Player walk we can keep. Loop time, loop pose. Uh, actually, wait, first rig, generic. That should be correct. Yeah, uh, we put that last time. Materials don't import them. That's why he has the correct materials. Now he should not. There. It updated. <clears throat> Generic, that's good. Import oh, animation. We removed the materials? What? We removed the materials? Yes. Uh, hmm, I'm weirded, weirded out by this. What do we have? So, generic. Create from this model. Root node. Armature control. Apply. Not that it particularly matters now that I think about it, but what this does is it essentially... Yeah, because we're going original all the time, I don't think this matters. Oh, whatever. Okay, so we got this. It's looping. It should be fine. Um, model. Let's take a quick look. Uh, smooth and angle, blah, blah, blah. Optimize mesh. Sure, we'll leave all of this alone. Now, let's go back to our player. Now you see there's no avatar anymore. Yeah, that's completely normal. Both the armature and the model are gone. So what we need to do is we need to delete both of these and take our player and drag them in. Okay, so now the player's been dragged in there. Let's see what the player has, armature and player. Right, so we're gonna drag armature in here. Uh, we need to unpack the prefab. Now drag the armature in here, drag the player in here, delete this player. Now this player is our model, it's got a control. The armature is there, that's all fine. And this one is character's avatar and, and player. Character's avatar is wrong. We need, we need player, the player avatar. avatar. Okay. Don't apply root motion, that's fine. Alright, so all of this is done. Now all we need to do is fix the materials. So I don't remember how many there were, but I think there was five. There was the mouth, the feet, I'm the fine. pants, materials, the skin. characters. Player materials and let's begin with eyes as first. No, that's skin. So skin goes first. Uh, what else have we got next? Uh, let's try eyes again, just because I'm lazy. Eyes was yeah. right. Yeah, mouth. Try next. Mouth is right. Shoes. Nope. That was Shoes the, is the last one. And underwear. Is this blue thing okay? So our little character is ready to go. Ish, um, all of this should be good. Now we need to work on the animator. So idle walk. It's expecting two motions. Well, it wants two motions. We only have one, so that's already a problem. But we've already set up in a decent way now. Okay, so now we can go back to our model and open player and go and make that animation. That's right. All right, so the way we start making an animation is we can go, for example, in the first frame here, it doesn't particularly matter, and we hit the plus button. And then okay, we now you get a second animation. Now this one we're going to rename it to player idle. Hit enter, okay, and hit F. Now you've got a second animation. Now it's got exactly the same keyframes as the other one, that's completely normal. What we're going to do is we're going to de delete all of Everything. these, we'll only keep this one, and even on this one uh, we're going to uh, go to pose mode and we're going to immediately reset everything. So hit A to select all, again, shift S, shift, 
No, Shift S. I did. Um, Alt S, my bad. Alt S, Alt G, and Alt R. So we reset everything. And what we're gonna do now is the guy needs to idle, right? So first yep. step would be lower his arms. Yeah. So rotate. Also G, let's move him. Rotate Everybody again. Hit his arm. Yeah, I like it that he has no joints. Rotate. So we can do whatever we want. Rotate. G. R. All right. So here we go. Generally speaking, we're gonna stay more or less in this position. Um, so maybe bob the arms and the head a bit. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can also move the pelvis forward just a bit. Rotate and rotate. He's, he's holding his tummy forward. He's a very lazy fella. <laughs> That's very unhero like. Maybe we should do exactly the opposite. <laughs> okay, so bum back, rotate, chest forward, <laughs> head straight. There, now he's ready to fight. Ish. He just never sword. Okay, and rotate. He looks like he's talking to it, hit an invisible person. Yeah. I would like to bend his knees a bit. Uh, okay, so rotate. G. X. Uh, y. Rotate. G. Y. Rotate. 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 Okay, so I've straightened his feet. Let's also rotate the feet a bit. Z and ro rotate Z. So he's a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, he looks like a dweeb. What's a dweeb? He's a loser. Okay, rotate. Let's try and see if we can we can make him a little bit more hero like. Uh, now we need to His rotate. tummy is puffing out again. Yeah, but that's not too bad. Rotate. There. There. And Rotate. There. It's a little bit more serious now. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Good. So, now, A. A. I. And we've got the lock root scale for all of these. Uh, shift D to duplicate. And move it to, eight, nine. So, now, four. Five, I mean, here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, yeah, we're going to exaggerate the movement a little bit. Uh, right, now bear in mind this needs to be a bit more exaggerated than normal because it's top down. So rotate, rotate, G, rotate, rotate. <gasps> G. With his torso. Rotate. Actually, his pelvis. Rotate. 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 G. Rotate. A. A. I. Okay, let's take a look at nine here. Okay, so that looks ridiculous, but it's not that bad. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> the reason why it's this extreme is because it's very fast. So idle animations, generally, you make them quite small. So we're going to go to 30, well, or you make them quick, but they need to be very detailed, right? Now we're not going to spend that much time on this. Uh, about here, we'll do. Now let's see how this goes. Oh, wait. That's better. Yes. Now what I think we need to do is we need to make him breathe in a bit faster. So G. G. Move it further to the left. So he will... See? Breathe is, breathes in a bit faster. 
And then let's go. His shoulders go up, but he breathes in, which is regular. Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's not too bad. We can do a small little touch. Okay, so hit S. S. Oh, big hit tummy. S. <laughs> uh, okay, and now hit I. <laughs> See, his tummy, his chest is now good. He's puffing. His chest is growing, right? And he said he's actually shrinking a bit, but that's. <laughs> it's fat. That, that wasn't my tent, but you know. The problem you is that the shrink. problem is the head is a child of the, um, of the of the chest. It would probably be a good idea for us to actually separate every single bone. Oh. But it's fine like this. You should probably do the messing around thing you usually do. Nah, it's fine. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, considering the type of game we're making, I think this is going to be alright. Okay. Okay, so give this a save. Oops. There. Now, there's an interesting situation because when we save this in-game, right, it's important to file. And you'll see that if we go to animation, that animation is not present. Okay. Okay. Well, it's actually there. All you need to do is you need to add another bank and change the default take to player idle. But that was there last time, at one time. I don't know what that means, but yes. We were doing the animation of another one, and that the animation we wanted wasn't there. Uh, yeah, well, sometimes you will get some strange errors, fair enough, but this, this wasn't the case. See the head, the chest is puffing. Good. Okay, so everything's working fine. Now we can go back to our blend tree and add, and add idle. Now we start with idle, we go to walk. walk. Okay. Now I assume we want our walk animation to not be super immediate. Yep. But still pretty fast. Now let's see, because it's quite a lot of work to uh, to get that particular blend value to go up and down in a in a in an elegant fashion, you know? So You're in the wrong script, I think. I'm in the wrong game. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm you in were in thrusty ship. Uh, I'm in the wrong game. <laughs> <clears throat> let's uh, let's go in the right game. The only thing similar was the game manager. I don't think that was very similar. Well, um, game manager and game manager, they call the same. So climb same ladder right. routine, pick up routine. Um, we need animations for those. Uh, but we don't have anything to change whether we're moving or not. I think it's all in fixed update and the velocity immediately increases or immediately decreases. Um, hmm. Now, we would need to make it quite clever if we wanted to make the sort of neat increase in movement speed and everything. Maybe a curve would do? Uh, yeah, but not quite that simple. You would need a, a coroutine to go in, a coroutine to come out, all sorts of crazy things, or some kind of other way of dealing with animation. But this will be a pain. It won't be easy to do. So I think we should avoid it and simply um, go right here. And if we have a, a magnitude, then uh, then we, we uh, change that blend value. Now, first of all, we need to get that animator. Uh, so uh, we are going to go to infrastructure and go private animator capital A it's a very very I know I just thought I would sit yeah, and then tab. space tab oh. now tab semicolon okay copy animator so animator needs to be set Maybe up. Maybe player animator would be better? Sure. I mean, it's inside the player. Player animate, oops. Uh, okay, save, a copy. And now we need to go find it, right? So AM, AM, etc. So paste it here, equals, structure, lowercase, variable, structure. dot find open round wait I don't remember structure avatar and uh, controller sure, sure. actually just there so structure quote avatar 
close quote, close round. Now, get component. Add a picture. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got the animator. Now we can do things with it. Um, so um, here we can assign a certain value uh, to to the animator. But the thing is, it's going to be a lot of assignment. Uh, but then again, it's not a big deal. Um, Sure, so let's just do it here for now. Uh, copy player animator, paste it here, and you go dot set float open round. What does this do? Quote. And how did you call it? Movement speed. Copy, paste it here, close quote, comma. We're moving here, so what value should this have? Uh, one. Mm-hmm. One F. S semicolon. Save. Copy all of this. Paste it here. Save. All right. So that's a zero, right? So that means our blend tree is going to be here when idling, and here when walking. Idling, walking. Yeah, I can see the guy. Right? Okay, so this should already work. Everything should be fine. Should we clear those errors? Sure, well, they clear every time we apply, but yeah. Oh. All right, so he's not moving, he's idling. He's moving oh. now. So you see, it's very snappy now. It's a little bit too snappy, but it's not too bad also, but you can clearly see he's sliding sideways when you're staring up, right? So, as I imagined, there's going to be... Like, it's really not <laughs> fantastic. Um, you you would need to, to... I mean, back in the day, what we used to do is have different animations, right? And then you would possibly... You, you could have sideways animations and then blend between them. So you could, you could get the angle compared to where you're staring and where you're going, and then you could blend... Uh, between that finding how much of the angle you have compared to 90 degrees, right? Going backwards, same principle, right? Uh, so you would need another type of animation, but it's it's a lot of work, right? And and we kind of want to get, get on with the game. I don't think we want to do, do quite as much detail of this, right? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> I mean, it's fine, right? You can understand that it's a character and he's moving. Uh, we'll see. One other option, which I think could be a very, very cool idea, is to keep exactly the same animation, but separate the the bottom part of the body with the top part of the body, and, and have two separate armatures uh, and two separate models. Uh, it should be entirely possible to do. So it's something that we can do with minimal... Uh, work. I think that's something we can explore later. Later. Now, um, one thing that has been bothering me for ages is the fact that we're this thick. Okay. Who do you mean by we're uh, this? Look thick? at how thick we are. Look at how far from the wall we are. Yeah, I see right? that. Now that we have a, a character, it's much easier to sort of relate to this particular character and understand that this particular sphere is ridiculous, right? Yeah. It's f way too big. So. The that collider is right here. Us. Sphere collider. What collider would be much better? A box one? No. Definitely not. A cylinder. Yes, there's no such thing. A capsule. That's what I meant. Capsule collider. Alright. So it's down here first. Now, you see the collider first of all needs to be moved 0.5 in the air. Now it's identical to the sphere. We can now delete the sphere. Now, we got the capsule collider. Now we need to figure out which axis we're going. In order to do that, let's increase the height. Okay, it's already in the right axis. So height one is correct. What's not right? The radius. Gotta fill, fill him out a bit. I think a little bit thicker than he is maybe okay, but I'm not sure. Let's try point two. Ooh, point two looks like it's very snug. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. 
okay. inside the right position, kind of some of the head is coming yeah, out. It's normal. You're going to get that. It's, oh. It is what it is. Either either you accept that or you start putting colliders on everything and then make a composite collider. Which cool. would be okay for this character, but pff, what for? Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter. We're not going to do much. We're just trying to decrease the thickness. There. Nice and thin. This seems substantially better to me. No, right? he doesn't have to be so fat going now, through the walls. Now, we noticed a problem last time before we left. You see the bomb can't see us? The reason why that is, most likely, is because the sword itself, well, the thing that is theoretically a sword, is sort of pointing forward. <laughs> We're going up. Idling up the stairs. Uh, uh, whoop. <laughs> yeah, we can make... I the saw the bomb do a little bump right there. Huh? It's like snapping to the... Yeah, place. yeah, I can see that. I don't know what's happening there. See? It's very strange. Yeah, we should look into that. Also, the eyes look blue. Excuse me. I, I'll, I'll come back in a ah, moment. Ah, wait. The eyes changed from from their white to the blue of the players. Okay, so uh, Zoe, entertain our, our crowd. Get killed by the bomb. Okay. Sorry, the cable was stuck. Ah, that was a weird stutter. Ah! Oops. I keep on getting killed. Ah! Oh no. Too slow. Hello. Mom only hurt me once, uh, and I got hurt three times, and there was a big stutter when I tried to pick it up. Okay. Show me. Wait, I'll, or I'll, I'll try and reparate. What are you talking about? So, I've picked it up, no problem. I think it was something different than picking it up. <laughs> the bomb is actually issues. angling. Okay, so that's interesting. That's a very interesting clue, because right now, ha, I know, I think I know at least. Uh, so this bomb should probably be rotated, and it's in, in the ground. I think that's the problem. I think gravity is affecting it, which is fine, but it doesn't have feet. So that would be my guess. Yeah, it's feet Yeah, you see, the so the feet are being ignored so one of the problems is the bomb itself uh, has um, a silly collider and that's that's why it's happening and when it's rotating it, it ignores the collider it has a sphere collider that's that doesn't fit its feet that's right and then again that's a kind of a problem with its silly feet so okay we, we've kind of figured out what the issue is and uh, let's go to, need to change the eyes why? Because I noticed that the eyes of the player are now the same as the eyes of the bomb. And what's the issue with that? Well, oh. we had wanted them to be different in the first place. Uh, so, the bomb is going to get a capsule collider as well. It's going to go 0.5 up in the air. And it's going to lose a bit of radius. Yep. Now, it's essentially identical to the sphere except it's all the way down to the ground and we're done this should probably work fine let's test so what we'll see is a bomb that doesn't rotate now like doesn't stutter when it after it rotates yeah exactly as I thought because gravity isn't being applied when it rotates, but it is being applied when it moves. Okay, so now if we get caught. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Poof. Splash. Splash. Only his head shows. He kind of looks like he's swimming. His legs are kicking. I know. But his arms are not there. No, still, though, see, this time he, he kind of didn't notice me even when I gave him my back. I'm trying to figure out what's happening there. Because it's kind of odd that he doesn't notice you right away. No, see, that there's something else. It's not the sword. He doesn't notice you straight away. I'm not sure why. Now he did. I've noticed that he seems to be very eager to notice me on the sides, but not on the front. Very strange. See? 
Okay, I so can see that. I've stopped it now. Let's try and see what's happening. So, Mr. Bombo here. There's the... Yeah, we're definitely inside this collider. It's the collider is also in the wall earlier than you. Oh, it could be that. Oh, could be, but I doubt it. But it isn't a bad theory. Hmm. And, and it has to keep on looking and finds you. So let's stay here on the side. Yep. It wasn't fighting you until you moved down. I don't think so. I think you're getting all of your investigation bananas. But, so let's see. Now he rotates. So we're looking for... Yeah, so he spotted me right away. Also, his rotation's wrong. We need to make him rotate in such a way that he doesn't rotate on the... Uh, on any other axis other than Z. So... Let's fix a few things. Uh, enemy bomb or enemy? I'm not sure. Probably enemy. So, on collision, aggression, etc. Aggression routine. There it is. So, Quaternion, look rotation. Okay, so here it looks at the player, right? Uh -huh. That's not exactly right. So, it's going to be player position, but kind of. We need to process it so that the Z is always going to be... Excuse me. So, that... Uh, the Y is completely ignored. Okay. Okay, so hmm, it'd be kind of cool to have some kind of silly utility um, that would uh, convert any vector 3 to having uh, a 0 on the Y. I think that would probably be quite helpful. So do we have any... Okay, I'm going to teach you a new thing. Okay. You know how we do singletons often? Yeah. Well, you can do static scripts that aren't even called in the game. They just exist in your project. Well. Yeah, so let's create a folder called it static. Static. Mm hmm A-T-I-C. Like you this. Enter. Okay. Call this transform utility. Utility. So transform utility is now here. It's compiling, it's building it. It'll be done soon. All right, so there we go. Now, first of all, we don't extend mono, mono behavior. Okay, we can't have a start and an update. It doesn't exist. Change this to static, so type static. Mm -hmm. Space, save. Okay, so you've got a static class called transform utility. This means it needs to have all sorts, all, every method it will have needs to also be static. Okay. So let's create a public static vector3. Mm -hmm. And call it um, uh, get height. Height, agnostic, uh, position. What does agnostic mean? Position. Uh, pos pos <laughs> Dude, come on. Yeah, it was funny, the, the first 17 typos, but it's getting a little boring now. We're all trying to get places here. Uh, you need a vector 3. Feed it a vector 3. Yeah, hit tab. Just V3 is fine. Yeah, sure. You have the type, but not the name. How is it going to know? But we just... V3 of a variable you're receiving. Come on, you've only done this about 7 million times. Uh, okay, so agnostic means uh, it has many meanings. One of the typical meanings is uh, somebody who uh, doesn't know. Uh, okay. And refuses to take a position because he or she doesn't know. Uh, now, this can apply in this particular case to a concept, meaning a concept that ignores a certain thing. What does it ignore? The height. So it will work for any height. All right. Now, here, what we're going to do is we're going to return new vector3. 
uh, open round and it's v3.x comma 0f it ignores the y comma v3.z close the round close the semicolon so that's it all this thing will do is give us the same vector we fed it but with a zero okay. that's it okay uh, on the y because we don't want it to move along the y-axis all right so now what we can do is we can go back to the player and the inter the enemy and whatever right and here where all of these calculations are done we're not going to feed it exactly this we're going to feed it something a bit different so let's hit enter over here hit enter over here and right here you're going to say transform utility there it is dot get height agnostic position open round close round and uh, let me think this through um, transform rotation what if your position isn't zero so that's not fantastic and the reason why it's not fantastic is because we don't know if our position is not zero because if our position is something else then it will still rotate towards zero so that's not genius let's add a float here and type height mm -hmm. copy height feed it here save so the height will be provided from the outside okay okay so interactive entity uh rather enemy Right, so here it wants another thing, it wants the height. Now the height we're gonna feed it is our transform.position.y. Dot y. Dot y. Yeah, so it'll take our own height into account. Minus, copy this entire thing. Wait, I missed the T, that's yeah. sure, just copy. Type, type capital T, paste. Now cut this and paste it here. Save. So we're sending it to transfer the position. Well, that's actually, that's kinda silly silly. Just paste it again. Yeah, because the transfer the position doesn't need to be converted into itself. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. Uh, transfer the position. Okay, so this is the player's transfer the position. Okay, so let's copy this entire thing again and paste it right here. Save. There we go. So now the the enemy should only start focusing in on you uh, if it's uh, like in any angle it'll be straight basically at least in theory. Okay. Let's let's take a look at this first, and then we're gonna figure out why in the world we're not getting reactions immediately. We so that know. was an immediate reaction. So if I fall, you see, see that the enemy stutter that came. Yes. That, uh, well, you're going to have stutters every now and then, especially in the editor. All, all sorts of things are happening. Right. So again, he took time to notice me. But look, I'm in the water, so I'm lower than him, but he still rotated straight. He's towards me, but straight. That's what we wanted. Okay, so that's good. Now, why is he noticing me this late? See, I mean, sometimes I can be in That took cone. at least two seconds. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's clearly too long. So let's try and find out what's happening here. We need to do some debug logging. We can't know what's happening, right? Yeah. Um, so the awareness module is what contains on trigger, right? So yeah. on trigger, uh, if you are a player or a ladder, if awakened... It's a possible, I don't think so. Case interactive, enemy bomb, not enemy bomb aggressive, and not enemy owner passive, enemy owner detect player. Okay, so here type debug.log uh, and go transform. Ah, uh, wait, is the, hmm, no, let's go to enemy owner. So copy this, paste it here dot transform dot name or comma name dot space plus quote space three hyphens space quote plus 
and now we're gonna request enemy aggressive so copy this paste it here plus Space, quote, space, quote, space plus, enemy on repressive, copy, oh. undo, copy, sure about that. that's fine, paste, close, semicolon, save. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn off, maximize and play, and uh, we're going to see what happens if if we trigger that, that right away or, or not. Um, Eventually. I forgot to turn that off, but that's okay. I'll do it right now. Pause, unpause, there we go. Okay, so now it looks small, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. So, now he doesn't notice us. Look at that little fella. Okay, so he's noticed me. True, false. There was a true, which was interesting. I think it's because I was aggressive for a bit. So it's noticed me right away. True, false. First it was false, false. Yeah, it's normal. It's not aggressive and not patrolling. It's noticing me again immediately. I wonder. I wonder what it could be. Let me start the other way. Nope, it's noticing me again. It could the debug log could be making an enormous difference, by the way. Okay, this looked a little slower. But still, it looks like this is behaving just right. I don't see anything suspicious or off yeah we need to reproduce the bug in order to no nope, but it's not happening at all now now it's perfectly getting us every time I'm wondering Try if the side maybe uh, the front was the problem it seems to be working just fine yeah no problem No problem. I think the debug log is doing a lot of the work to fix this. This is a known thing. I mean, I don't know why it happens, but sometimes in, in Unity, basically, if you slow it down a little bit, it performs better. Uh, I'm not sure why. I'm hoping somebody in the YouTube comments is going to be able to perhaps tell us why this is happening, because I don't know. Uh, but I can't seem to reparate now, and I think the debug log is doing the work, uh, which is funny. So if you comment it out, save. Let's see, Let's see if we reproduce it again. What would be the conflict? So it could be something in the operation order, I'm guessing. No, so it noticed me right away, but then again on the sides it used to be capable of noticing me. Hello! <laughs> nope, notices me again. This is weird. It is a little, yeah. Maybe it was maximized, but that makes no sense. No. But it could be that the previous rotation was uh, was causing issues, but I don't think so. Like it could be how sometimes seen under? Maybe. So, ah, wait, that does make sense. If his rotation was a little bit sort of downwards, right? It would hit the ground before not it hit you. the player. That would make sense. In the sky, not re yeah. Well, I mean, it seems to be working fine now. Ah, I dodged it by a second. <laughs> but you dodged it. Yeah. Well, I don't see any problems now. So, think we fixed it. Maybe. Our sword is huge compared to us now. Hmm. Our sword is huge compared It's not even to a us. sword. I mean, that's just where we're pointing. A pointer, then. Well, we have an invisible ball that tells no, us... No, it's going to fall. Ah! Right. Or dead. Blop. You have fallen. Into the bin. Into the bin. Okay, save. Good. So, this is done, too. Uh, right. It looks like we fixed the issue, so I'm not really sure. Now, one thing we should definitely do next is a... Uh, so we could do link jumping, but we don't have that much time. So let's instead do swimming. Sure. Okay. Because the swimming will be fairly simple, really. Uh, all we're the code or the animation? The animation. We're going to do an animation. All of the animations we're going to do are simple in this game, right? So, okay. 
Now, player idle. Um, we're gonna need uh, a new player idle for the for the water, right? So player idle. So it's duplicate player idle and call this one player idle and then water. Mm -hmm. F. Okay. So player Which idle. Probably water. we should kind of flailing around. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't think he should be sinking. Well, maybe. Because theoretically he's not supposed to be swimming properly, right? Yeah. And, I mean, you die after a bit if you live in the water. But yeah, maybe. I don't know. So let's begin by uh, rotate. Definitely arms up. Rotate. Even if he is not flailing, mm -hmm. he needs his arms up. That's right. So when we swim, we tend to... Uh, um, be prone forward, so rotate. Okay. Uh, well, if we're idling, wait, you're not moving. Yeah, yeah, I know. But still, even when you idle, you idle. Rotate. <laughs> rotate. 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 Ah, he looks so like. Rotate. Hit. G. Whoop. Rotate. G. Rotate. Rotate. If we ever make the water transparent, that's how he's gonna look like. Hmm, but he is rotated too much, I think. Rotate again. G. People will see that he's disattached. Disattached what? Rotate? Disattached. Detached. <clears throat> G. Okay. Now, obviously, the arms are a bit too extreme. Rotate. Okay. A. A. I. Now, one thing we need to see. You forgot to delete this and that. I don't care for now. Uh, player idle, so that's how he is. Player idle water, a bit taller, that's good. Uh, a bit higher, that's just fine. So he pokes out of the water more comfortably. I like that. Okay, now so that's that's our our thing. Now we can shift the this one and move it right over here. So now obviously this one is completely bonkers. We can delete this one, and that simplifies everything. Now. Um, Okay, the arms are wrong. We didn't notice, so we need to fix them. Rotate. We should rotate his hands just a bit as well. Rotate. And rotate. Okay. And now A. A. I. Shift D. Okay, here we go. Now on 17, uh, we're gonna open the arms, rotate, and rotate, rotate, and rotate. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking about how I, <laughs> how you swim. Uh, it's been a, it's been a while. So yeah, these legs are kind of fine, I guess. And we want to make them kick a little bit. So rotate and rotate. Yeah, it's like this. Rotate. He's swimming. Rotate. 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 I, uh, A, A, I. Let's see, let's see what we get. It's a bit stiff, but it's not too bad. And one of his legs is kicking more than the other. Yeah, I know. Should make his head move a bit, maybe? Wait, I'm, I'm thinking because this this needs to be a very very gentle animation, right? He is idling, right? So it needs to be really quite slow. It's not bad. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. 
So let's double the length of this. So duplicate this and bring D, Shift D. Blender has different different buttons. You gotta get used to it. <laughs> uh, G. Um, I think it's gonna be 67, so G again. And now Shift D. It's not going to be 50, I don't think. Oh, yes. Uh, no, it should be 51, so G. Okay. So now, I don't know if I'm right, actually. So wait. 33 is this one, right? Instead of 32. Okay, so 33 plus 16 should make 49, so I'm wrong. G, left by 2. Now we need another 16 on top of 49. This should get us to uh, 65 and right now we are on 67 so G left by 2 okay 65 that makes sense now uh, this 49 is all totally wrong so all we're gonna do is just rotate this rotate this and then rotate this kick his other leg down rotate this okay so now we're gonna uh, yeah, A A I yeah, and now we're gonna change this thing here to 65 and hit play. Kind of stops right yeah, in I the know, middle, I which know. is. It stops for one frame, so if you change this to 64, it may be a little bit more elegant. No, I don't think so. I mean, if we delete this middle one, it should be even more elegant. Oh no, because it's missing the move in the arms. Uh, but we can delete the legs. So let's make a change. Uh, we are going to. Hmm. I'm not too fast. I mean, it's kind of fine. But if we want to fix this exactly. Here's what we can do. So, but wait, isn't this exactly the same as this? Yes, this is exactly the same pose and exactly the same pose. So I'm not really quite sure why this sort of strange uh, change is happening. The control is keeping still, the foot. Hmm. So you can see this foot over here is not moving. Yeah. Foot R is not moving, but I think that's okay. So here you have like two or three frames. It's going and it's going the other way. So the the legs themselves shouldn't be controlled by this. So if we do this, delete this. I'll take care of it. Um, B to box select, G to drag, move it here, and now duplicate this, shift D, and move it to 65. So more elongating. Now all we're doing is uh, we are making the loop start when the arms are open. The arms move a bit faster than the feet. Yeah, move at double the speed. But we'll see, we can play around with it. So, again, now we're gonna play around just with the arms and hands. So we're gonna take arm, hand, ha arm and hand, hit G, move them a bit earlier, here, right? And then we're gonna remove these and remove these let's see uh, 
Let's move these for the back, G, somewhere here. Okay, and let's duplicate these, Shift D. Put them here, and now what are we gonna do to these? Is we're gonna rotate them further out. R. R. I. So the little starter will disappear. Or it should, anyway. So one thing that we're now going to do in order to make this feel a little bit more realistic, a little bit more right, is we are going to drag down and up this these hips. Okay, so we're going to leave them where they are. But this, hit G, and R, okay, I, and now Shift D, Shift D. Shift D. Like he's breathing. No, not really. He's trying to stay afoot. That's right. Uh, so it's obviously a bit exaggerated, but it's not bad. I think that's okay. Player idle water. Okay, so save. Now this will be the best animation to use to copy to create a player uh, swim, swim. Right? Um, okay, so we're going to create a new one, and we're going to call this one player, what's the other one called? Player walk, player swim, R, swim, F. Okay, so we've got a, we can swim now, and this you know. This should be a decent start. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is a good, good spot for us to be in. Um. You know what? I'm thinking what we had is it is actually pretty good already. So all we need to do is just change it a little, right? Maybe bend now, it slightly. The first more the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to take from here all of these. Press S. S. Press S again. Uh, press S again. So it'd be 29, 20, something, I don't know. 31, okay. One more, S. 32, 33. Let's try this. The bobbing is a bit. The bobbing is extreme, I agree. And especially because we're swimming now, so it's not that important. So let's grab all of the middle ones for the hips and clear them there. Maybe we should, we should make the kicks a bit harder. Oh yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna make some changes. And maybe he bend a bit farther forward. Yeah, he needs to bend forward. I'm I'm thinking whether we should make him do a crawl animation instead, which is a different type of swimming. Uh, but that's complicated. We don't have elbows, so that's <laughs> that's giving us trouble as well. Uh, okay, so let's see. Try this. Uh, rotate. G. Whoop. Rotate. Rotate Z. Rotate. Rotate. Okay. Are we making that crawl thing? Yes. Rotate. We're going to make it very silly. Rotate. I've never seen this kind of swimming, so... Rotate. Okay, so he's facing this way. We, we must rotate his back as well. Yeah, so rotate. No, actually you can't rotate the hips. There, rotate this. Okay. Um, rotate. And rotate. I'm thinking. Uh, so about here would we'll probably be all right. Uh, rotate. Okay. G. 
rotate G and G rotate and rotate and rotate okay so now you do a a i so this is where mirroring the animation would be great but it doesn't look like it works so i don't think we can do it let's give it a shot anyway so these swimming positions are now not particularly useful at all so now simply try and copy Control c Control v yeah thought so so it's all completely twisted he's going backwards it's really weird i'm really not sure why this is happening so we can't we can't use the the advantage of this which is a shame uh but that's all right so um for now another keyframe we're gonna do is let's go to 17 first so now you go i again now we're gonna try to be efficient but it's going to be difficult because uh, we're human and not machines machines are way better than us so Rotate. That again we made up. About him. here. Uh, well, you and I didn't make much. I'm not talking uh, about us humans. Okay, rotate again. Rotate. Okay, now rotate. And press the other keys as well. Can you stop being lazy, please? Rotate. Sorry. Okay. There we go, and rotate, thanks, uh, rotate, and rotate, and rotate. Mm -hmm. Now this one, uh, rotate, G, rotate, G. G. Rotate. Rotate. G. A A. I. All right. So for now, let's see what happens. Shift D. Let's bring it to thirty-three. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it's already pretty good. Now all we need to do is give it a bit more of a rotation animation on the arms and it'll it'll help quite a lot um, so let's do here and do r g uh, r g um, i so I'm curious to see how this is going to behave. Yeah, that's much better. That looked almost legit. That's pretty what good. What does legit mean? Uh, legitimate means sort of uh, it's a way to say correct in this case. Legitimate would mean that it conforms to rules. Uh, okay, so from one to five, that's four frames. One, two, three, four. Okay, so take rotate G. Rotate G. I. Let's check it out. So here at the end, this doesn't look great. So we're going to make it cartoony. So uh, rotate. Oh, wait, just this arm, okay. Sorry, press rotate again. Rotate. Rotate. G. I. Now, if we're gonna do this, this means the same needs to happen to the other arm. Um, rotate. Rotate. Wait, not yet. Rot rotate. G. 
All right. Okay, let's see now. Yeah, a bit smoother would be nicer, but. So, let's see if we can move this here. No, that's not great. Let's move it over here. I'm trying to make it a little bit more elegant, but we're not going to spend ages on this. This side is a bit better. Now, the feet aren't kicking very well. So let's see, okay, this foot here, we need to make it kick, uh, no actually wait, this foot over here needs to kick now. Uh, so wait, how would you kick? No, you would need to kick with this one, you would need to kick forward, but I mean we're tilted too far anyway, but that's okay. So just rotate, wait, is this the right foot or the wrong foot? It's the right foot. Um, rotate. Rotate. G. I. Let's see how this goes. It's probably more interesting anyway. But n nobody will see this. Why? <laughs> I'm not sure why we're we're wasting time with this. It's fun. <laughs> okay, rotate. G. Rotate. I. It's kind of all wrong, but whatever. Yeah, it's 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 kind of bananas wrong. So rotate again. G. R. Okay. I. <laughs> and uh, G. Uh, R, and that's fine. I. Okay, let's see what I, what the? Oh. What? No, my bad. It's, I got it wrong. So, it's this one. Rotate. G. Rotate. I. Okay. It's all wrong. It's kind of semi-elegant, so it's fine. We'll live with that. Look at his bum as he spins. <laughs> splash, splash, splash. That's okay. looking at the street so of the Zarbs. How are we going to deal with this to make it even more dynamic? Here's how. S. Splat. Now check this out. He's going! Okay, so he's going fairly fast. Okay, save. And uh, that's it for now. So let's go back here. Add fix and code it. In. Well, there's a few things to do first. Yeah, that's number I read one. By code, fix the animation. We need to add two. This one is going to be idle water, and this one is going to be swim. So swim, loop time, original. Original. Dang it. Dang it. And water. Loop time. Click, click, click. Original. Original. I think that basically me changing it so it's got a control route actually forced me to have to do this. But maybe it wasn't actually necessary at all. Right, too late now. <clears throat> so. Uh, we need to make a blend tree and that sort of stuff. That sort of stuff. So we got the walk cycle here. And that's just fine. Uh, now we can make a blend tree of blend trees. What? Do you know that? It's pretty crazy. But we're not going to do that because I don't think it's necessary. What we are going to do is we're going to duplicate this walk cycle. Now hit Control D. So we got a walk cycle zero now. We're going to rename this one to swim cycle. Mm -hmm. And we're going to say that any state can lead to swim cycle or to walk cycle, depending on two different situations. 
Okay, so we need obviously some kind of trigger, right? We need two yeah. triggers, maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess we need two triggers. I'm not sure. Uh, no, probably boolean. Probably some kind. Maybe maybe an int, kind of value. Uh, yeah, I think an int would probably be good. So you have various values, and one would be grounded, and another one would be water. Okay. So, terrain state. Hit enter. So, if terrain state is zero, oops, we just need one condition, not two. Terrain state equals zero, we go in to the walk cycle. Basically, almost immediately. Okay? And here, same thing, very quick transition. Terrain state equals one. That will be water. Okay, so when we do that, we're going to swim cycle. Now the problem is swim cycle also is called idle walk. That's not good. We're gonna call it idle swim. Or a whim swim. And it's gonna be instead of player idle, it's gonna have player idle water. Instead of player player swim, it's gonna be this. So if you hit play, he's idling now. If you then move the value. So far. What's that little blue line? Blue line? Oh no, that's just the uh, center of the hips showing which way is forward. Oh. It's an arrow, just like this. This is the control bone. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so this is now working. Now all we need to do is we need to code this particular thing in, right? Now, uh, I don't remember if we have some kind of status for being in the water or that sort of stuff. I'm not sure, but we need to take a look at the player. I don't think there's anything for that. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to see if we are uh, what terrain we're on, right? So to do that, uh, game manager should probably have another enum. Public enum. Uh, and call this one terrain state. Terrain state. Open of type. I mean, yeah, open squiggles. And again, we're gonna copy our usual none, paste it here, and ground, comma, water. That's it, right? So train state. Um, I'm wondering if an interactive entity should should know of its terrain state or something like that, and it would depend on what you're interacting with. Uh, that could probably be good. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's probably a good idea. So let's create here public and here go terrain state. It's all caps, but fine. Space terrain state. Semi. Yeah. Now. This will depend on what we're colliding with on the ground, um, and if we're staying in uh, in collision with what. So, uh, on avoid, on collision stay. Not virtual, no void. On collision stay. There it is. On collision stay. Now, call it C. And here we're gonna say uh, switch tab tab c dot uh, layer no try game object yeah, dot layer yeah save now and the layers here we should have some numbers layer is an int. Uh, and I can't remember them for the life of me. So we need to uh, go and check our layers. So we've got map gro ground and water. Map ground, water. 
I think it, I think at least that's that's how they go. So map oh rubbish, I forgot to actually check the number. So water is four and map ground is ten. Four and ten. So here you go, ten, case ten. Case ten. Mm -hmm. And here you can type ground and then case four colon and then water break now I forgot something uh, our terrain state right will be transitioning all the time at the moment in in our base layer right so it's kind of silly we need something else so we're gonna need a plus and another plus. Whoops, I uh, meant another plus on the other guy. This transition also needs a plus. And what we need here is a trigger. So let's add trigger, change state. Mm, bit vague, change terrain state. Yes, change terrain state. So if change terrain state end zero, if change terrain state and one okay so ground and water now here um, go equals terrain state is already there dot ground semicolon groin because you're spotting a ground save yeah well, whatever right we, we all we're just gonna start with one and then here we're gonna check so here we're gonna say if open round copy paste is not Exclamation mark equals space, yeah, tab, dot ground, close round, oops, open, close, save. And uh, so our problem is our animator isn't here, it's on our player, right? So perhaps this isn't a brilliant idea to keep in the interactive entity, but it's generic enough that I thought maybe it'd be good because the enemies and the player are so different but mm, maybe not so let's cut this put it in the player Let's try oh. to save the other space it here save and cut this go to the player let's see if we he, we've got a collision stay here I don't think so so let's put it in update paste save Shift tab, save. Okay, so if we are not grounded, uh, but we have hit the ground, we are going to now must manage our our um, our animator. So copy all of this, paste it here. Int with a capital I, and the int that we're looking for is called terrain state. Copy, paste. Now before we do that, we are going to... There's an error. There, there's loads. Copy. Paste equals train state dot ground. Okay, semicolon. Uh, and copy this. Type no. Round bracket. INT. Close round bracket. Save. What are you complaining about? Animator does not give you set int a. Eh? Oh, I think it's set integer, isn't it? Yes. Okay, and now that this is done, we also know we need to set the trigger. So copy, paste, dot, set trigger. Yeah, tab, open around, quote, copy this. Type change with a capital C. Paste, uh, paste. Close quote. Close round. Semicolon. Now uh, copy all of this. Paste it here. Save. Water. Water. Save. Done. So if we follow the water, we're gonna go to water. We're going to immediately immediately transition to the swimming animation. We're on the ground, we're going to immediately transition to the ground animation. At least in theory, that's what's going to happen.
Okay. Okay. So let's see. I think we forgot to do the swimming animation and the walking animation in the land tree. No. Okay, so here's the walking. It's working just fine. And he's swimming. Try to idle. He's idling. Yeah, he's swimming idling. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely looking properly stupid when... He's attacking the floor. <laughs> he, he, oh, oh, no, oh. when you're swimming backwards. It's like, ah, right. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, or sideways. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> you would need to actually go in the direction that you're going. Um, it's, it's basically a twin stick right now, but I think the animation should be pretty much independent on the twin stick. It's something we should look look at next time or whatever. So yeah, anyway, like now let's see if the grounded works. It does. So it's quite interesting because I think you here you can't decide. Uh. Yeah. So on, on collision enter is not genius, right? We would need to instead of on collision enter, we would need to raycast. And I think that's going to be a lot better and it's something we can do next time. Please remind me next time we need to do raycasts, okay? Raycasts. Because uh, this is this is stupid. Like here, I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Which of the two? Which of the two? Which of the two? I'm gonna. Die. And I'm gonna swim backwards, <laughs> and then I'm gonna fall down because I can't while, see while swimming. Wee, I'm swimming. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Well, <clears throat> thanks so much for watching, everyone. Uh, to the YouTube crowd, we'll see you again next time. I forgot to record. Yes, which means I'm going to have to grab the VOD. Hopefully it's there. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.